when you lost the shoe, I thought you was joking. Because... How? <laughs> Last weekend, me and my friends decided to go on a hike in Kvalfjord, Iceland, to see the wonderful waterfall Glimmer. On our way there, we encountered some very cute Icelandic horses that were just begging for a good pet. Glemur is the second highest waterfall in Iceland, dropping down from an astonishing height of 198 meters into a 160 meter canyon. Having arrived at the parking lot, we were on our way on the hiking trail. We all knew that we were up for a very nice day of hiking up the mountain. What we didn't know at the time, though, was the unbelievable beauty of nature, sweat, tears and pain that this adventure would have in store for us. At the end of the trail, we took a small break, viewing some of the surroundings, and then headed to the river through a small cave. Sven scouted ahead and discovered that the path down to the river had been washed away in the winter. The wrong way! Oh, no. just, the, just the rain washed the, the path a little bit away. Ah, okay, okay. It's quite, quite difficult <laughs> there, but here it's much easier. To get up to the waterfall, we had to cross a raging river. There was supposed to be a plank bridge across it, but since it was the beginning of summer, it had not been put up yet. The only way then, would be to try our luck by passing the raging river of Glemur. But we only had two pairs of water shoes, and since there are some very sharp slippy stones in the water, it was pretty much mandatory to wear them. So we're gonna cross the river now. It's kind of deep, I just tested it, uh, but we only have two shoes, so let's see how this goes. So we had a long discussion and my friends decided it would be best that I cross the river first to test the waters. I don't know how they came to that conclusion. On second thought though, it probably was because if something would happen, I would be the least essential person for the group to survive. Apparently Sven did not really think I was going to survive this. He sounded a little too surprised when I made it to the middle. Wow, actually okay. I carefully made my way through the ice cold river and everything went smoothly. Well, at least I did not drown. After making it across, I went to help the others over the river. And then suddenly disaster struck. Since we only had two pairs of shoes, I tried to get one of them to the other side, but slipped on a rock. Losing my balance, I could not hold onto the shoes and dropped one of them in the river. Thankfully, the shoe got stuck on one of the rocks. Swan was able to show me the way and I carefully made my way down there to recover the shoe. So we made it over the river! 
I got a little bit wet. <laughs> well, it's all right. It's raining anyway, so. When you lost the shoe, I thought you was joking, because how can this be possible happen? Come on. And with these encouraging words, we started to make our way up the mountain. The view here is just amazing. Look at this waterfall. When we were halfway up the mountain, we decided it was time for a break to take some pictures and eat our rations. We were happy to finally get some rest, but some people clearly weren't thrilled probably wanting us to move on and stop hugging all the good spots. So Hannah doesn't give a shit, she just sits. In hindsight, I think maybe the break was a little too long. Having apparently nothing better to do, Hannah started filming her own drone footage from the ground, with Emily being the star of her show. All rested up and ready to go, we continued our journey. After looking at some birds, of course. We still had a few hundred meters to go and I was getting a little tired. So we're nearly to the top now. You can see Kalfjörg. Beautiful. But some more encouraging words from Sven kept me focused on the goal. 950 meter waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Then finally, we made it up. We had conquered Glimur. Stunning.
After taking in the stunning view on top of the waterfall, we all were a little tired and ready to head back down again. We still had one big obstacle ahead of us though, crossing the river a second time on top of the waterfall. Since last time we had to go over the river a couple of times so everybody could use the water shoes, I decided it was time to bring out my secret weapon. So Sven has these fancy shoes and I have Hotel flippers. <laughs> so I'm going over the river in the hotel flippers. <laughs> The stones here are razor sharp. So equipped with my trusty hotel slippers, I made my way through the river in no time. Others weren't as happy about the experience. But I think that was mostly because of the cold water. Ah! What happened? Cold! <laughs> cold, yeah. <laughs> my lord! And look at that! <laughs> I made it with the slivers! <laughs> not bad, yeah? After heading back and bringing the water shoes to Hannah, we all were over the river a second time without any accidents. Now, this amazing journey was coming to an end. The hike didn't go as smoothly as we planned, but in the end, we had conquered Glimmer and had an awesome adventure. There was nothing left but to head home, relax and eat some homemade pizza.